Wack 100 says, if the feds lean on Jay Prince Jr. about this situation dealing with takeoff, he will fold under the pressure. And Paperwork Party says, they are already the feds. What up, YouTube? This is Getty Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, people are still mourning the death of takeoff and in the mix of that morning people are just trying to find answers out here on these streets man and there's been conspiracy theories rumors speculation widespread all across the internet around this situation and Wack 100 is asked the question does he think that Jay Prince Jr. will hold it down if the feds lean on him Wack 100 says he's not from the streets he comes from a gated community he's a good kid just trying to play gangster and paperwork party drops some bombs on Jay Prince and he's alleging that the feds own Jay Prince's bank accounts rapidly a lot rackets the whole nine yards it gets interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to paperwork party shout out to wag 100 and 100 ent this is getty radio let's go you think you think that damn when it all boils down though you think that uh, a flip on the squad though you think jay prince a flip just on you know what i'm saying like if the feds <laughs> really rushed them because you think that nigga a flip? i don't think the daddy guy i mean um no i'm talking I think about it's, junior said junior's a bitch. he's so a you, bitch. so you think he's i've been, been told y'all he's a bitch. He's been a bitch. dude was a good kid he born into a money bro he ain't he lived behind gates and all that shit. He, he ain't come up like that. He just trying to act, play that persona. So you think he a straight flip on the whole mob ties if it came down? Bro, let me tell you something. He ain't did nothing. All you could do is talk. I'm, you just, I'm, go I'm, no, I'm just hypothetically saying. Man, if you niggas pay really attention, bro. Let me tell, tell you something, bro. He already flipped, bro. He said, you can't hide behind me. And then he was dog telling gone. right there. Come on, man. Y'all got to pay attention, bro. Nigga, the dad is behind the hit. I'm talking about Junior. I'm talking nah, about I ain't gonna say that. Oh. No, you can't say that, though. Uh, that's I ain't gonna lie, that shit you just okay. oh, that shit. I just think Lil' McGonagall. That, that, that shit just happened, bro. Wasn't nobody behind nothing with that, bro. Okay. That, it just happened. Well, you know, Cam Newton said that Cam Newton said that Junior was the one that killed Takeoff. Yeah. And you everybody in Houston, though. Takeoff was, takeoff was standing. Wait, they say Cam was. Junior's goal, right? What they said, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. it's Junior's goal. Right? Yep. Cam yep. was Junior's goal. Cam killed takeoff. Quavo was standing on the side of the uncle. The that's picture, the picture is up top where they was all standing at. That's, that's, what that's all. Was talking about. No way. Especially Junior the hit in the uncle. Ain't no way it was supposed to happen. Especially under their flag. <laughs> hey yo, Wack. The way the way you done pointed out how they bitches and shit and, and, and how they ain't like that that unfollow and, uh, and follow look like they ain't know what the fuck was going on. And if I don't know I, I don't know, you said you know they pops and shit, so whatever the fuck that was. He was wasn't like, even there. Nah, I know that I know that I'm saying they ain't know how to handle what they handle. Nope. So you feel and the daddy look the daddy so scared. He ain't even having a conversation with him about it. He probably yeah, told him, y'all get the fuck out of my house. That's what I'm saying. You think Junior a flip? I know he will. <laughs> Hell yeah, he a flip, bro. He'll be the first one. You think that he's going to leave a million dollars to go sit in the cell and he ain't did nothing? You know, you got to do his tell. talking about telling on his daddy and everything. He think he'll flip the, like that. If, if the feds already got his assets, head. bro, he got to. If the feds got his assets, how they the paperwork say, bro, he, he got already, to. Bro. He already, he already doing that. Hey. Yeah, he worked with him. That's over with. Once you an informant, what you going to, you can't, nigga, they going to give you a million years if you don't want to cooperate now. Little dude going to take the whole team down. Hmm. Perpetrating the fraud. All he had to be was normal. Crazy dummy. Yeah, that shit's crazy, bro. <laughs> Mob ties, huh? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You said all he had to be was normal. Like clown ties. All he had to be was normal. But see, you bro, know the that come hey, from? We trying to work hey, towards being normal. He was supposed to be Fredo out the family. <laughs> Man. Godfather, you feel me? He's supposed to be that nigga Fredo or Rain. <laughs> he trying to be a whole boss out here. Yo, what? 
What up? Hey, say like, say like, what if they did like, you know, in a, like a month or so, crack the case and shit. You think that nigga Jay Prince gonna goddamn don't leave his son out there by himself? Like if he get pinched type shit. What kind of questions yeah, you yeah. ask? What kind of question are you asking? Bro? No, hey, well, what you mean? What are you supposed to do? Like, bro, shit. what do you expect him to do? He wasn't even there. Crazy. But I'm saying he's you know, supposed to go turn himself in for a son. Hold on, let him talk, bro. Let him. Talk. I'm saying, but you you already like the feds are already looking at him, so you don't think that they don't you know what I'm saying gonna use that shit as leverage? You know what I'm saying? I mean, about you never know. They, they could play the game. They've been playing That's with what everybody. Like, They're going to sit back with the Rico shit and say, oh, all y'all got something to do with it. Some dumb shit. I'm going to be real, bro. I don't think the old man is into it like that. It's his son's doing mm -hmm. all the dumb ass bozo shit. His son want to be popular, bro. That's crazy. You think they've they been watching them boys, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they definitely yeah. doing that. Well, you know, he be the. Um, he beat a Rico some time back. You know, they don't never forget. I don't know, but just pulled up all the paperwork, Wag. I'm about to call them. Not the paperwork, bro. Yeah, I just pulled it up right now. I'm all right. The daddy had a, a federal agent was trying to peel his cap. Yeah. He got one. He got mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys. Yes, uh, he beat the federal firearm, the Rico. A firearms trafficking. Uh, they got him some shit. I'm reading it right now. Good God almighty. Being that he already beat him. J Prince Jr., he got sealed files and all that shit. It's probably already got somebody working. You talking about somebody working, bro? That man, J Prince Jr., <laughs> he, he is the fed, bro. He working with him, bro. Yeah, it's <laughs> over with. That's a it's fair. over I mean, with. Let's see. I ain't going to lie what I'm reading. Really, but... We just yeah. ran the room showing the paperwork where he had to turn over all his assets and, and he still got bank accounts with, they, with, with them. Both their names on it. Feds in the both of them on the Oh, yeah. J Prince did beat a Fed charge back in the day, and there was a rogue agent trying to kill him. He actually wrote about this in his book called The Art of Respect. He tells the whole story on how the Feds was harassing him, trying to say that he was an illegitimate businessman. So I guess J Prince has been on a legit side of things for a long time because if the Feds is watching you and they ain't grab you up, then there's got to be something legit about you. But what they're saying here is that somebody in the Prince family is cooperating with the federal government, right? And they're saying that J Prince Jr is the one so they did run some audio and i do have an audio clip for y'all for someone talking about this very thing about j prince jr or j prince working with the feds and they're talking about seized bank accounts seized assets the whole nine yards man the guys here reading the paperwork so i'm gonna run a clip for y'all let's get to it you gotta turn all your bank accounts over to the feds when you signed a deal with the feds in 2021 you didn't tell everybody that you had to turn over all your bank accounts the feds own your bank accounts, Jay Prince. They own your bank accounts and they own your property with titles that you had to turn over. Who the fuck owns you, my nigga? The motherfucking feds. The feds own that nigga. Shout out to Lucifer. I need to see it in the crowds, man. The feds own all his bank accounts. The feds own Jay Prince. God damn, that's some crazy shit. The feds own your ass, nigga. Don't be running around like that chain around your neck, nigga. You already killing people trying to get them feds. They murk. You turn over them bank accounts and that wasn't enough money. So the feds said, look, you better go out there and kill some of these. You better get my money at back, motherfucker. The feds pimping the shit out of J Prince right now, y'all. Yeah, the paperwork don't lie. The feds pimping the shit out this nigga, y'all. And now all the black people around you are dying. You know what I'm talking about? Finesse two times. He may be next. Who else may be next? Who was scared to go to Houston on that day? Let's see. Finesse two times, he said he wasn't going. I don't know if he was scared, but Finesse two times, I ain't going to Houston. Hell no, nah, Jay Prince in Houston. I'm not going. Who else was scared to go? Oh, the back end town. God gave me the instinct not to pull up last night. Oh, I wish he would have gave me the same to everything. Yeah, they ain't gonna get your ass back in. You better keep your ass where you at, little they about to snatch your little ass up, nigga. You been doing good. I been, look, look, I don't watch this little nigga, but I heard some of his music. They, they finna get your ass, nigga. Now you scared, nigga. Now you post this shit saying, oh my God, I was about to be around Jay Prince and I'm glad I ain't go. Yeah, cause them feds finna snatch your ass up back in. Your back end got smart, didn't even go. 
The feds take over the family property and money. The feds own Jay Prince, my I'm showing you the paperwork. Shout out to my boy Loose for the man. The feds own Jay Prince, y'all. The whole family agents, I used to fuck with Jay Prince, but I don't fuck with them feds. Yeah, they own you. I ain't never had to turn over all my bank accounts to the United States. The United States is AKA feds. What are you talking about? The defendant agrees. This, look, look. This was part of the plea agreement. He turned over his shit in 2021. Part of Jay Prince plea agreement was to turn over 2021. documents. This had to turn over land, houses, and I'm going to tell you something else he had to turn over. Rap a lot. If you think that the feds going to let them niggas keep rap a lot and take everything else, you can kiss my natural black ass. The feds the rap a lot is precious, my nigga, to the Prince family. Jay Prince Sr. put his heart in that the ghetto boys. That's the best one of the best groups came out of Texas. Everybody in the world respects Jay Prince. Them niggas put their foot down to get go down. But what you don't know is the paperwork tells the truth. Who really owns Jay Prince? The feds own Jay Prince. So if the feds tell you to go drop a body and get my money. We have life insurance on this person. Okay, go get you an artist. You got life insurance. Why y'all think Mo3 almost got killed in Houston? Y'all remember Mo3 went to Houston and got into the shootout? They tried to kill Mo3 in Houston. They got Mo3 when he got back to Dallas. They was trying to get him in Houston. I bet you Jay Prince had that same black shirt on too with Mo3. I bet you when Mo3 came down to Houston, Jay Prince had that same black shirt on. Come on, gang. The feds own rap a lot. I'm going to say this one more time. I'm going to read this one more time, gang. Defendant also agrees to direct any banks which have custody of his assets, which is money, to deliver all the funds the feds <laughs> you telling me my nigga that you got that you got you got that you got money but the feds got your accounts i wasn't lying when i told y'all the feds own all j prince bank accounts i talked to whack 100 three days ago you know who the fuck i am whack you done been in my club look hit me up whack Hit me up, Wack. I got you. I got some shit for you, Wack. All right, we gonna leave it right here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Like I said before, man, the layers are just gonna keep peeling and peeling and peeling. And shout out to Paperwork Party. The Paperwork Party Network went in. I appreciate the entertaining audio, but he's saying the feds own Jay Prince. The feds own Jay Prince Jr. One of them he was talking about, he even said the feds even own Rap A Lot Records, man. Said he got a plea agreement or a deal with the feds where they snatched up all of his bank accounts and both of their names are on Jay Prince's bank accounts, man. This is a wild thing because I've never heard anything like this about uh, Jay Prince, man. Jay Prince didn't write about this in his book. He did write about the fact that the federal government was after him and that they had a rogue agent that was trying to kill him, right? Like I mentioned previously in the audio, right? But what do y'all think about what Paperwork Party was saying about Mo 3's death? He's saying that Jay Prince then was behind Mo 3's death. I have to say allegedly here, but he did say that Mo3 got in a shootout in Houston and that they actually waited to get him in Dallas. And Paperwork Party is alleging that all of this is done at the behest of the feds. He's saying that the feds are telling Jay Prince to go catch bodies so that they can collect insurance money. This is some conspiracy theory type of stuff, tinfoil hat type of stuff, but he's saying that they're going out there catching bodies for the feds so that people can collect on insurance money, man. I don't know how much of this I want to believe, but I do think that this is a case of when keeping it real goes wrong, man. Jay Prince Jr. is out there perpetrating the fraud, trying to be something that he's not. And now his chickens are coming home to roost, man. You wallow in the mud with pigs long enough, you're going to get dirty at some point in your life, man. And there's bodies dropping around that family. And what that's going to do is open up a Pandora's box and make everybody start to look into the backgrounds, the federal information, the state information, the arrest records, the whole nine yards of the Prince family. And that's exactly what that's doing, man. This 
this is a snowball effect that's having a negative impact on Jay Prince's image and his family image, man, all centered around the death of Takeoff. I'm just gonna be honest, man. If I work my tail off, whether the man is a fed or not, but if I work my tail off, become a millionaire, and my family ain't gotta worry about no street activity, and one of my sons is out here acting a fool and having stuff like this and energy like this around his life and bringing about results like this, I would have to disown the boy and push him on off to the side, man, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring all that energy right on over to the house, man. And guess what? J Prince too old to be dealing with street nonsense at this point in his life. That's just my opinion. And I would like to know y'all's, do you believe that J Prince is a federal agent? Please let me know in the comment section. This has been Getty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.